hey guys welcome to the second part and uh, here we will uh, do the blocking of our geometry which we have just made and uh, let me tell you a thing about blocking that guys in blocking what we do we tell this software that i want to do a hexahedral mesh in this particular area of my geometry and one more thing i forgot that blocking is only for hexahedral mesh okay you don't need blocking for a tetrahedral form okay you can do uh, very vaguely the tetrahedral but for hexahedral or uniform hexahedral mesh you need blocking okay so in this we define certain regions and we enclose our geometry in a block or we enclose a block in our geometry uh, which will define uh, how much nodes number of nodes we can change number of nodes the style of meshing can be changed through blocking so blocking is a primary step for hexahedral meshing in icm cfp so so i think we should start now uh, and uh, uh, let me this is the this is the blocking tab so click in blocking tab and go to this create block so now i have to select the entities so you can select the whole geometry just to give it an idea where the block has to start so it was previously i had done a blocking so obviously i don't want any uh, nuisance for my blocking so i'll just replace so here you can see right click and go out you can see a block has been created out of my geometry okay so now what we have to do we uh, if it were a long cylinder single cylinder okay no throat then uh, i will just associate this block with that and i'll just go on but now we have to create sections in this geometry so that we can uh, we can do hexadal mesh more efficiently here okay so i'll create sections so how to do sections so in the blocking tab uh, uh, click on the split block so i will split split this block and uh, the edge you click on is splitted okay so now click take this to here so i want to split here okay now middle click to finalize and again i want to split here in between yes and yes so i don't want want any other split so you can see i just want the, uh, to split this only okay so just i just do this only and uh, i think yes now we should move on to the second part now guys now what we have to do we have to associate our block with our geometry to tell the software that you have to mesh according to this particular geometry which we have done okay so now we will, we will uh, go on the association part so this is the option associate so you can see where we can associate our bodies we can delete associations or uh, dissociate the geometry we can uh, reset associations there are many uh, options so uh, i'll do this this option which is uh, let me see and this is associate edge to curve so i'm associating edges to curves so guys in the blocking nomenclature the sides are called edges and in the geometry nomenclature the sides are called curves so when i say edge i mean the part of the block when i say curve i mean the part of the geometry similarly vertex is for blocking and point is for geometry which is given here vertex and point vertex is for uh, block one and point is for the geometry so let us focus on our work so i have to select edges first so uh, i'll come out of the command and i'll hide the surfaces for my uh, facility so i'll select edges okay so suppose if you select this edge as a wrong one so right click and it will get deselected okay so middle click the edges have been selected as you can see here and now it is asking for you to select the curve okay so on this curve and this now this happened uh, block the happened to be inside because i had selected the project vertices so the vertices of the block has been projected in this curve and our hexahedral mesh will be within the boundaries of this uh, curve okay so that's the point of blocking and now let us uh, 
uh, so you don't have to come out of the command just toggle it you are out for a second and adjust your view and again toggle in and select the edges and oh i think i have selected the wrong one or right yes i have selected right so middle click again click middle click again do the same exercise now again i have to no, I think I do. again do that toggle adjust your screen again toggle in and middle click select middle click and yes it is final so i have finalized now guys here i have to tell you one more thing that uh, in this particular geometry i'll be trying to make a fluid flow through it from this side left to right okay for that you have to create a o grid okay if you simply do that your results will not be good so you have to create a o grid if you are making a fluid flow okay so select the blocks so i need all the blocks to be o grid because the fluid will go inside all and you will middle click and you will see it. so select face so guys uh, uh, keep in mind that if i select this from this uh, left to right if i select first left block and then right this means my fluid must be going from left to right okay so i'll select this now i'll toggle it just to view now as you can see there is no or is, this is uh, uh, x axis surface along the x axis uh, uh, there is no perpendicular x axis surface that uh, i say this surface was perpendicular to x axis there is no such surface inside which means the software has itself understood that the fluid will go come here and go outside there so it is a it is to our advantage so i have selected this and this when i click apply the blocking is complete uh, o grid meshes uh, blocking o grid blocking is complete so here is our o grid block so let us see how to proceed further so now guys we have to create the mesh the mesh parameters are defined in blocking and uh, after that the mesh is created so in the blocking tab if you right click the edges part if you take the counts so counts means number of nodes present on that edge okay so here are two nodes so obviously we want more nodes so let us see so this option is called pre-mesh parameters okay it is all uh, blocking is pre-mesh so that is why they are calling it pre-mesh so you select this edge parameters and we want to change the number of nodes on this edge okay so how many nodes we want here i think seven would be good so guys seven nodes means there are six spaces here okay so i think eight or uh, yeah i think nine will be fine here okay let's make it nine okay so now i want to copy these parameters to these four and uh, the rest so first i'll copy to this one now this spacing one spacing two i'll leave that to later don't uh, adjust anything else just click to selected edges from this you can do to parallel edges but this leaves these two so i'll select selected edges okay one two oh, sorry right click two three okay if you middle click it it will copy all the parameters you can see nine 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 and inside is also nine so to your surprise you'll see that the other two things the other four same blocking surfaces have got the same parameters we want and i think the surface as surface uh, sorry the software takes it automatically so now we should move on to other edges so this is our i don't want two here i think five five or less so i'll take uh eight 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 is also looks less uh, eight is fine i think yeah nine is fine nine is fine 
so now guys uh, here comes uh, so as we can see now uh, uh, now uh, i'll take the spacing part to the rest okay just you have given the nine spaces and you can see to every part the nine nine uh, number has shifted so everywhere we have nine spaces okay so i think we have done all no the horizontal part remains okay let's select the edges so here we have seen nodes how much should be it should be 20 20 are is a it is a very it becomes a very big cell if it is 20 let us say 30 30 is fine i think 30 29 spaces i want 30 spaces okay let's make it 33 yeah i think 33 looks fine okay so it has it automatically copied so it is not our worry so let us see what happens uh, to here select this edge and i think the 15 would be good here uh 15 looks good yes 15 looks good let's make it 16 okay so now here uh, i'll be taking how much should i take it's a long one so i'll take 35 yes 35 looks good i'll take i think 34 is good okay 34 so now you have given all the number of nodes how your uh, how many nodes will be there on your geometry you have defined this thing thing to a software in the blocking itself okay so uh, now there is a function called pre mesh it shows you the mesh previously and you can easily change here and again do the pre mesh okay so it is want to it, it wants to recompute the mesh so you click yes okay nothing to worry it is wireframe we want solid to take a feel of our mesh so you can see it has created a beautiful mesh and these parts are little these things are a little long seems the cell is a longer one so what i'll do i'll edit the mesh i'll turn off the pre-mesh and i'll again select here i'll make these nodes to 35 okay so i'll again click pre-mesh now as we have changed so it is asking to recompute again so just yes length has changed a little but i think it is good i don't want to make it too fine it is looking very fine here and less fine here but let's take it as a challenge okay so you can see here this is the o grid if it was not o grid it would wouldn't have been looking like this so let's see the other end okay so it looks like it looks good okay so one more uh, interesting fact which will be uh, uh, countering here encountering here will be the spacing part now as i'm doing a fluid flow as i'm uh, as we are doing a fluid flow in this mesh so i want to i will be wanting to capture the boundary boundary wall uh, boundary wall variations so how the fluid is flowing near to the boundary wall so what do we require for that we want a finer mesh at the boundary so to do that we want a finer mesh here So the spacing so we'll be doing that boundary thing with the spacing this spacing feature okay so you can see arrow it is from top to the bottom so the spacing one is the uh, from where the arrow starts okay so spacing one is here and spacing two is here so what is spacing one it is the ratio of the first it is the ratio of the this second cell to the first cell okay spacing one will be this space from this red mark to this the point where the green lines are intersecting so this is spacing one and the ratio one it is the ratio of this second cell this second space upon the first space okay so this is the uh, concept of spacing so we can create a varying varying spacing around here so you will see how we'll do it so as uh, this radius whole radius is 0.2 so 
so you see you have to create a very little um, uh, cell uh, measure so let's say we give 0 to how is it so uh, it is zero, zero. so what should be what should be the ratio what should be the ratio here and the so what should be the ratio here it will be i think it should be i want very close one so i think 1.2 would be good and uh, i think it's not uh, the actual value which are given in the end are the in the boxes okay so it is ratio one if ratio is one means there will be no variation so have to give a more uh, you can do hit and trial by by giving uh, now now you can see that it changed means it took these values into account and did something to give us a result so this is how it gives the spaces so i want i want a more less variation so i take 1.1 let's see what uh, yeah it reacted no i the previous one was better let's see what happens at 1.3 yes i think that's good and uh, if i change the spacing if i change the spacing to p what happens yeah i think that's good too so i think we have to apply this to all the uh you can say all the edges okay so first this 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 toggle off this 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 oh wrong right click now this toggle off mm -hmm. this 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 okay toggle off you can toggle in and this 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 okay so let us see how is uh, did that uh, did that spacing happened here or not let's check so how can we check that we'll click on bunching here it gives us the nodes on all the things you have drawn yes there is spacing in the fashion which was there in the first part okay let us turn off as it looks very messy so now we'll do pre-mesh okay yes it will recompute and now you can see you can very well capture the boundary conditions here the boundary wall conditions here okay so this is how we should create the blocking of this particular uh, geometry mm. the fluent part of this uh, will be in the third video thank you so much and i hope uh, you will subscribe if you find this helpful uh, i'll i'll try my best to bring more videos to you like, to, like that okay thank you